Hey, you guys. Okay, so uh, this basically ties into the part one video. I really originally wanted to be all one part, but the Lord was just downloading a little bit more. So we didn't have a chance to read 14. So we're just going to read 14 now. Um, and then in the next X Bible study, we'll read 15 and uh, 16. I'll tell you guys what that's talking about. But 14 is talking about Paul and Barnabas in Iconium. Uh, Paul and Barnabas returned to Antioch in Syria. That's what we're going to read now. And like I said, this would just be the audio. So, okay. So, and it came to pass in Iconium that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews and so spake that a great multitude, both of the Jews and also of the Greeks believed. So God is, he's moving, you know, but the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and made their minds evil affected against the brethren. Long time, therefore, a bold day speaking, speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. But the multitude of the city was divided in part held with the Jews and part with the apostles. And this is why, guys, really quick before we even get into uh, five and I'm not going to be before you guys long with this video. This is why it is important to know what side you own and stand on the Lord's side. Because opposition and division is going to come when you doing great things for the Lord. But you got to remember your stance and position in the Lord. You got to continue to be bold. You got to continue to walk in the grace and strength and anointing that God has given you and continue to stick with the Lord. And you got to know what side you're on, even in what's going on in this earth and what's going on in these times. You have to make a stand. There is no, as we've talked about over the years, there is no gray. Everybody that's in the gray is going to be swept away. Holy Spirit just said that. There is no lukewarm. Even, even the Lord said in Revelation, if you lukewarm, he's going to spit you out of his mouth. He said, I wish that you were either hot or cold, but because you are lukewarm, he got like you neither. He got to spit you out of his mouth. I'm not saying you directly. I'm just saying generally, you have to pick a side. Because if because the people that's in the middle, the people that's gray and lukewarm, they will be... Um, I want to say this in an appropriate term. Um, how can I say this, Lord, in an appropriate term? In an appropriate term. Basically, if they don't choose a side, the side will be chosen for them. Let me just leave it at that. Okay? It's better to, to stand. Because let's like that quote that says, if you do not stand for something, you will fall for anything. You got to maintain your stance in the Lord, especially you that are in the Lord, you know? So let's finish out guys. So, um, so, um, they were divided, but the most of the city was divided in part held with the Jews and part with the apostles. And when there was an assault made both of the Gentiles and also the Jews with their rulers to use them despitefully and to stone them, they were aware of it and fled into Lystra and Derby, cities of Lyconian and into the region that lies round about and there they preach the gospel so the Lord you know he will um let you know he will this is a word for somebody he will let you know he will show you so that you know how to make your next move this is why it is important not to lean onto your own understanding whoever this person is please uh go back and read Proverbs chapter 3 um especially hone in on verses like 3 through 6 or so 5 through 6 and just um, believe God to direct you. God will direct you. He will He will show you the path you should take. He will show you just like even I believe it's going back to the book of Jeremiah or Isaiah. But if you ask for the ancient path and walk in it, the Lord will show you which path you need to take. He will show you because you see how they wanted to stone them and they had this plot, but they were aware of it and they fled. They fled. That's even like Joseph was in that dream would take baby Jesus and take Mary and flee from this place. The Lord has sustained them even before that and flee. You, you have to take heed to when God show you something, whether it's convenient to you or not, whether it's like good news to you or that's like, Ooh, I didn't want to hear that. But when God give it to you, he is giving it to you for a reason and take heed to it because you taking heed and obeying makes a difference it makes a huge difference not just in your life but in the lives of others that god has connected to you for destiny and purpose it, it does make a difference so let's close out so um 
and there they preached the gospel. See, they were aware of it and fled into Lystra and Derby, cities of Lyo, Lyo, Lycaonia, and unto the region that lies round about. And there they preached the gospel. Somebody said, we got to keep it moving. We're not going to get stuck. We're not going to give out like what God gave us back in what, 2018, 2019, what he told us, guys. We will not quit, but we're going to commit. You got to be committed to the work and will of the Lord. Stay committed to the Lord. He will strengthen you. I'm hearing this again. He will grace you. He will grace you. He will continue to give you the grace and the strength. But you got to stay on his side and stay close to him. So let's talk about Paul and Barnabas and Lystra. All glory to God. And there said a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice. And we see healings throughout this book. We see miracles and blessings of God. We see God getting the glory. We see the church really being united and, and the foundation is on the rock of Jesus Christ. Amen. Healing. This man is getting healed. God can heal you. If you are in need of a, a emotional healing, a mental healing, a physical healing, a healing in your heart, a relational healing, healing in your family, your marriage, your blood, God can heal. It can be big or small. God can heal. God can heal. God have a hat to fit every situation. There is nothing too small or too big for him. Release your faith. This is a word for somebody. This man has been impotent in his feet. He's a cripple from his from his mama womb, from his mother's womb, who had never had walked. The same heard Paul speak. So he's hearing Paul speak and it's building his faith because he's steadfastly beholding them and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. This is Apostle Paul steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. Faith, your faith grows through hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. This is why it is important to continue to speak life in the scriptures and the Bible over your life and those you divinely connected to. It's important to speak the word. It's important to give God back his word, remind him of his word because God put his word above his name. It's important to hear sermons and teachings on the word. It's important when you read in the Bible, sometimes you'll read it silently, but you could read it and speak it in the atmosphere to release your faith or certain songs, praise and worship songs or just different things that can build your faith. It is important, you guys, especially like uh, we've been saying over time, like when God give you something like certain, like you can attach a scripture to that specific situation and hold fast to it and believe God. Cause apostle Paul, see they, they faith is connecting. Faith connects just like fear connects. Faith connects. There are faith connections, just like there are fear connections, but God don't want you to be in fear connection. He wants you to be in faith connections. Okay, said, I'm going to go back. The same heard Paul speak who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. Said with a loud voice, stand up right on thy feet. And he leaped and walked. Somebody that um, been impotent from his mama's womb and could never walk through supernaturally partnering with the word of God. When I say partnering, I mean in agreement with what's being preached, in agreement, having his faith, in agreement with Apostle Paul, in agreement with God on the move and this healing going forth. Stand up right on thy feet and he leaped and walked. God got certain things to be released in certain times and seasons, you guys. That's why it's important to have an ear to hear and know what time and season you are in in the Lord and know what you time and season you are in spiritually and naturally. What is happening in the body and the bride of Christ? Yes, but also what is going on in your personal life? Because God speak to us in seasons and based off what we obeyed in that last season is going to be what he can give us in this new season. Because how can he give you more to eat if you ain't ate what he gave you? How can you handle more responsibility if you are not diligent or faithful over what he gave you? So you got to have an ear to hear and do your best to be obedient. He will honor that. It don't mean we'll make it all the time. Or when I say make it, I mean make the mark every time. No. But he'll honor it. He'll honor it. He'll honor you trying and scribe. He'll honor it because he's going to grace you because he know. That's why we got to partner with him. Okay. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Lycaonia, the gods are come down to us in the likeness of man. 
and they called Barnabas Jupiter and Paul Mercurius because he was the chief speaker. And we know where these things come from, right? So I'm not going to break that down and keep going. Then the priests of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands into the gates and would have done sacrifice with the people because they were they would sacrifice to different gods. You know, some people had our gods, some people sacrificed to the other gods. But you see, Paul knows who he is, guys, just like Barnabas knows who he is. Um, so let's keep going, which when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people crying out. So they like, no. And I like this because we see this all throughout this book. The, the real men and women of God did not want the glory. The glory went back to God. These real men of God, the glory went back to God. They didn't, they weren't prophet. They didn't take the glory. They gave God that the glory as due to him. Excuse me. And we see what happened for the ones that didn't. Honoring God makes a difference. Giving him back the glory for real, for real makes a difference. Because you see here, it says, um, it's saying, sirs, why do you these things? They're like, no, why Why are y'all doing this? Why are y'all doing this? We also are men of like passions with you and preach unto you that you should turn from these vans. It's like, don't glorify us, you know, and preach unto you that you should turn from these vanities these vain things, vanities, unto the living God, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein, who in times past suffered our nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness and that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. And with these things scarce restrained they the people that they had not done sacrifice unto them. And there came thither certain Jews from any, because God be watching. He take into account everything, guys, that's going on. So we got to be mindful. That ties back to our theme this month, not just this month, but going forward. Being connected to the Lord, drawing closer to him and our motives and being healthy in different things. But our motives, why do we do what we do? You know, having right motives and other things that we were talking about for this month. It all ties in. Um, self-control all these different things they had to say no they had to check these people because you have to give God back the glory could you see what happens with people that don't you see what happened with the king that we just read about the other day right the, the king Herod in ch chapter 12 when we read the other day he didn't give God back the glory the worms ate him up the angel of the Lord smote him and he gave up the ghost. God was not, God, listen, he don't be playing. And I'm not saying I have to be that serious, but, but I'm just saying like, in this case it was, but then also he persecuted God's people, but also just give God that the glory that is due to him. God deserves the glory, whether we give it to him or not, but how much should we give it to him? Because he's worthy of it. And we are able to, and what he didn't deliver us from, why not? So, um, and with these things, scarce restraint they, the people that they had not done sacrifice unto them. And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium who persuaded the people and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. How be it as the disciples stood around about him, he rose up and came into the city and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derby. So do we see these men were so persistent? They were dedicated. They were not moved by the opposition. They kept building like Nehemiah, you guys. They kept building because they know that they have victory in the Lord um, amidst the persecution, you know, amidst different things, you know, and, and um, it's not before me, but I remind of the scripture, like it's talking about you being um, like they were cast down, but not destroyed. They were persecuted and all these things like, but they, they basically had to just keep on going. It's in the New Testament. And I forgot where, but um, let's, um, how be a disciple stood around about him. He rose up and came into the city. Even them disciples standing around about him. He was able to rise up and come and came into the city. And the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derby. You know, there's going to be certain things that you go through in your spiritual, natural life. That's going to make you like, you have to choose like, am I going to continue to serve the Lord or not? But you got to persevere. The Lord say anyone that, that look back or shrink back is not worthy to be called his servant. Anyone that put his hand to the plow and look back. You, we got to daily take up this cross. This thing is serious, y'all. We got to daily put him first and seek him. It really does make a difference. They didn't let all these opposition and all these things. They didn't like, Lord, we doing what you told us to do. We're going through this here, this, that, that, everywhere we turn, God. 
and give up. Don't shrink back. Continue going forward. God will give you his grace. He will help you. Okay. Paul and Barnabas returned to Antioch in Syria. And when they had preached the gospel to that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium in Antioch. Thank you, Jesus. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Someone please highlight that Acts 14 verse 22. Continue in the faith and ex exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter to the kingdom of God. And when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord on whom they believed. And after they had passed throughout Pisidia, they came to Pamphylia. And when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down into Italia and then sailed to Antioch from whence they had been recommended to the grace of God for the work which they fulfilled. And when they were come and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. Somebody say, it is bigger than me. And there they abode long time with the disciples. And we're going to close with that. Um, our, in our next X Bible study, we're going to talk about chapter 15 is controversy about Moses' teaching. The apostles consult, consult. Uh, the apostles send letters with their decision. Paul and Barnabas separate. Um, 16, we're going to talk about Timothy joins Paul, the uh, Macedonian call. Paul and Silas in Philippi. Paul frees a girl of an evil spirit and the Philippian jailer believes. Um, so we'll look at that um, in our next um, X Bible study Lord's will but you guys be blessed in Jesus name thanks so much for tuning in you guys have a great day great week great night and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video Lord's will God bless